appreciate it. Now, um, in about 20 minutes, I'm going to be doing a live online stream fitness class, which I live stream across the internet. I do them at night when the kids are in bed. But just before I do that, I'm going to do a quick video about the stupidity of ultra low emission zones and some better alternatives. Now, I don't know if you know about this. Uh, chances are that you do. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll know from the mainstream media or the social media that um, the London mayor, uh, the mayor of London, is expanding the ultra low emission zone, and he's proposing that people who drive into the, the expanded zone of London will have to pay twelve pound fifty to to drive in. This is presumably in a bid to kind of improve the air quality of London, and he presumably says that they're reducing the number of deaths caused due to respiratory illnesses secondary to uh, air pollution. But, uh, personally, I think this is an act of stupidity. The reason being, this £12.50 charge will deter people from driving into London, which presumably is his point. But the problem is it's going to increase poverty. And poverty is the number one cause of ill health. I don't know who's advising this guy, but he's a uh, clearly a loony as far as I can see. Now, the other thing I was going to mention to you is this, that there's far better alternatives. If the goal is to get um, better air quality, there are two proposals which I'm going to give you now, which are going to really improve the air quality and they cost very little. As I put in the description, uh, if you follow my videos, I give you something every day to for free to help you with your health, wealth, finances, fitness and fat loss. I also give common sense solutions to uh, problems going on in society. So let me give you these two common sense solutions to the problem of pollution in London or all our cities for that matter. The first one is, have you ever noticed how how little traffic there is when school kids are, are on holiday or when the schools are closed? It's practically nothing, okay? So why not have that all year round? Now, I don't mean close the schools, although I can hear every school boy and school girl saying, well, hey, no, no, I'm not talking about that. What actually happens is in some parts of New Zealand, America and India, what they do, they have a walking school bus. Now that basically means that imagine you've got a class of 30 kids. Four kids, four adults go to the first kid's house, pick them up. They walk to the second kid's house, pick them up. Walk to the third kid's house, pick them up, and so on and so forth. And they reverse the process on the way home. Now let's assume you've got a class of 30 children. And uh, that works out mathematically as up to 12,000 car journeys saved per year. Now, when you consider that there are twelve thousand, that there are three thousand kindergarten schools in the UK, you can see the huge scope here for cutting traffic, and it, the benefits are enormous. You've got less traffic, less congestion, less pollution, fewer accidents, improved community relations. What's not to like? I just cannot understand. If that is the goal, why isn't Mayor Khan doing this? I'll, I'll give you a, uh, what you can do in a second. The second solution is simply to reduce the cost of public transport. Now, I went to university in Sheffield, and if you speak to any resident of Sheffield, they'll tell you that up until the late 19, early 1980s, I should say, public transport in Sheffield was extremely cheap. It was so heavily subsidised that basically an all-day ticket for unlimited access to the buses was no more than 10 pence. That is ridiculously cheap, and all it costs them is a pound a week in your rates. They said it was very, very heavily subsidised. Every every bus route, there was a bus literally every five, five to seven minutes, and basically they were very, very cheap. I can't understand if the goal is to reduce the air, air pollution, then basically that should be it. But clearly that's not the goal of uh, Mayor Sadiq Khan. He wants to bankrupt people. Imagine what's going to happen. Everyone has to pay twelve pound fifty to go in. Basically, people won't go in, they can't afford the £12.50, and businesses in central London are going to suffer tremendously. They're not going to have customers, they're going to close down, and guess what's going to happen? London's going to basically become a derelict zone. It's absolutely stupid. So as I said, those are two very common sense solutions. Basically, uh, in the case of the second one, we have to do what we do in, that they do in Luxembourg. In Luxembourg, they've made all public transport free. Now, the thing is, if you think about it logically, you have to come walking school bus, great. That uh, that drastically cuts down traffic uh, around schools and the like. Free public transport. Guess what? People won't drive their cars. So very two very very common sense solutions. So what can you do about it? Look below. 
you'll see there are links there to something like eight or nine parliamentary petitions on this. The way these government these petitions work is if they get 10,000 signatures, the government has to respond. If they get 100,000 signatures, guess what happens? They consider it for a debate in parliament and these petitions do work. So what I'd like you to do is go below, sign these petitions and then get all your friends to sign them. Let's get them all to 100,000 signatures and let's put an end to this ultra low emission zones. As I said, I've given you two better solutions. Let's, let's act on them and let's put do away with this stupid nonsense. Thank you very much for your time. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.